Wind. So this is actually one of our research projects that's funded by the Australian Government's National Career Institute which is called Excited for Careers in Agriculture and we're really trying to showcase to students some of the careers of local importance and what better way to then focus on the beef industry than to come visit CQLX and hang out here for the day. So really what we want them to think about is careers differently so I want them to think about how their strengths and interests could translate to a career in agriculture. So we know there's lots of misconceptions in ag and really what we want to showcase to students that it doesn't matter what your strengths, your interests, your personality are, you could be artistic or maybe you like data, regardless of that there's a job for you in agriculture across the supply chain, whether it's in the country or in the city. Yeah, so students are having a lot of fun but deep down they're actually not realising that they're actually getting exposed to lots of different careers, they've met lots of different people today, we're going to go back to Bark Avenue State School this afternoon and do some other hands on activities and really get them just to have fun with all the different job opportunities that are available in this exciting sector. We say you can't be what you can't see, so we expose them early to all of these different roles, get them to think that there's more job opportunities out there than what they realise. Um, personally, growing up, I liked animals and thought the only job available to me was to become a vet. And so really we want to break those misconceptions. There's so many different roles out there and they're not going to know about them unless they get exposed and actually meet people face to face and have a good, fun, exciting time um, and learn about some different job opportunities. Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, it's been good to work with CQ and their Excited Bag program and have the kids come out and learn what we do here at Salios. Yeah, so we gave the kids a tour of the site this morning, went through aspects of what a normal sale would look like out there in the buyers lanes, and then brought in some drought master and Brahmin cattle to auction off the students in the stud ring. Uh, very successful today. I think we broke all world records um, in the auctioneering there. So, um, but no, it was good to see the kids actually getting in, having a go, and have an understanding as to why they're throwing their hands up as well to bid on some drought master and Brahmin cattle. auction got so hectic that that made it so much more fun than it was. We bought four and we went way over budget. Our budget was 2000 for each and then it just went up, 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 up. First we done 2000 for one of them, not just a thousand over and then just kept them going higher and higher and higher every single time. So we got our auctioneers, we have seven different agencies here on site, um, got them all involved, um, especially our young auctioneers. Um, they do a lot of different schools. Um, and learn a lot of different rhymes. So they're the rhymes that we had the kids out there doing. Um, it, it creates that interest, it creates that, um, you know, potential for opportunity. Um, they know, you know, they're becoming aware of what's available to them and, and what they can access, you know, right here. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's not, it's easy to say we're the beef capital of um, Australia, but then when you actually get in and have a look and get involved and see what you can actually do, it's it's not just something that sort of just is. It's something you can become part of. Yeah.